What company claim to have even a more powerful search engine than Google? Again, that boring company that I keep mentioning over and over again. Facebook. Alright, Facebook is saying that our search engine is much more powerful than Google search engine. And the difference is this. Okay? The difference here is that when you talk about Google search engine, they use Boolean logic, right? An undisputed sort of logic using a very advanced mathematical algorithm that allows you to rank which type of result is the most appropriate when it comes to any search queries. You search for, let's say, you put in the best car in 2017. You put that search, uh, search query on Google. Google will use Boolean logic to gather information and rank what car they think as the best car in 2017. But Facebook is saying that we are doing things differently. Rather than using a mathematical function in order to get result, we are using human logic to get result. What they think the user is expecting, they will give that result. And that opened up a whole slew of opportunities for marketers to do marketing with this, right? And this is what, again, okay, Facebook is planning to do. They aim to provide a research and question and answer service that will outperform any other search engine, including Google's, right? That will be their ultimate sort of aim, right? And you can see where Facebook is going with this sort of approach. They are no longer talking just about social media anymore. They are also talking about expanding their social media role to include informational role as well. Right? And that gives new life to what social media is and what social media means, especially to business. So previously, if you want to talk about search engine optimization, you talk about Google. Right? If you are any brand or any organization out there. Now, your search engine optimization is not just meant for Google, but it must also be inclusive of social media outlets such as Facebook as well. Right? So that is the reality. And number nine, right, is the, this particular trend, social commerce, right? The idea of what are other social networks. We always talk about Facebook and Twitter. How about other social network? Any other new other social network that will come big in 2018 and beyond? According to Counter Media, one social media network will become far bigger than what it was right now, or what it is right now. And that particular network is Pinterest, right? According to them, Pinterest will become the next big thing, right? And you find that people are spending around 40 minutes per day on Facebook. So the rest of the time that they used to spend on other stuff, they have now devoted 14 minutes per day on Pinterest, especially those with Pinterest. Personally, I like Pinterest more than I do Facebook. I actually like Pinterest. Why? Because I find Pinterest to be much more real. Right? The sort of things that I can do with Pinterest is a, is a, is a total reflection of what I like, not what Facebook like. Right? What I like, for example, I like the issue of political marketing, for example. So I can create a Pinterest board and I can put everything. And it served me well, for example, especially for my dissertation research. Right? Pinterest has become one of the venue where I put all my stuff concerning my PhD research easily. Why? Because it has that particular power. The power to allow me to do what? Right? To, to use social media that serve my own personal interests. Right? And that has become the, the, the sort of rallying cry, how to personalize your social media experience. You find that on Facebook, a lot of the social media experience is not personalized. It is based on what your other friends like, what Facebook recommends you to read. Right? But in Pinterest, it is almost like a blank. It really is a blank piece of canvas. You can then pin anything you want based on any topic that you like. Right? And you'll find that a lot of people are going for Pinterest, especially right, female users of social media. A lot of uh, women or female users, they tend to congregate towards Pinterest rather than Facebook alone. And I like Pinterest. I, I enjoy Pinterest. I don't really enjoy Facebook. Right? But Pinterest is awesome. Okay? All right? And more and more people are thinking the same as me. Right? And number 10. 
is the idea of extending the role of social media further. We discussed it this a little bit earlier if you are if you were in the tutorial class. Alright? The idea of using Facebook in the workplace. Alright? And it is becoming a reality now. Whereby Facebook has introduced, right? Facebook at work late last year. And the rollout of Facebook at work has, is now becoming more and more prominent. For example, the Singaporean government just adopted Facebook at work as their main productivity software suite, right? To be used in all of their offices, right? In the uh, nation, uh, in, that, in that particular city state, right? And you see that a lot more organization is adopting. Right, Facebook at work, and that tells you what? It tells you that social media is not just for fun anymore. It's not just for social use anymore. It can also be used professionally and in the workplace as well. Right? And that changed the dynamic a little bit. Now, we've also discussed during the morning session that not everything about Facebook is perfect when it comes to its compatibility with the workplace. There are issues, there will always be issues, right? Especially the most important issue is how you separate between your work existence within Facebook as well as your social existence within Facebook, right? That will always be tricky, okay? Alright, and that's it. Like I said earlier, if you want to read the report, you can download the full report at www.countermedia.com. Right? If you want to watch the video, the video is on YouTube. It's called Social Media Trends 2017. Right? For you to get a much better outlook on what this particular issue is all about. Now, of course, the trends that I've discussed here came from this particular source alone. There are, of course, other sources and other researchers out there that will point out to many different other trends, right? You can always go on the internet and find these trends, right? But the time, uh, but I looked at several of those reports and I do find that Counter Media report to be one of the more approachable ones. And what they say is very much in correspond to the reality of what's happening in the uh, in the world right now when it comes to social media. Any question before you go? Of course not. All right now. So before we go, last thing that I want to remind you is that when you are presenting later on, right? When you start your presentation later on, incorporate